Northern Virginia high school football coaches planning to boycott the state's playoff tournament. Good evening to you. I'm Scott Thuman. This football fiasco began just before six o'clock on Friday when a judge's order threw the entire tournament into chaos. Several games were postponed shortly before the most exciting time of the season. And now coaches are concerned about accountability and player safety. We've got team coverage to explain it all. Sports director Scott Abraham will clear up a lot of the confusion caused by these last minute changes. But we're going to begin with Nick Minock, and he's with a demanding parent uh, who wants some truly independent investigation into the school at the center of this controversy. Nick. Hey, Scott, tonight we're hearing from a lot of community members who want Fairfax County Public Schools to address recruiting violations and residency regulation abuses. Tonight calls for accountability from coaches, parents, and the Fairfax City School Board. The Fairfax City School Board Chair writing to the Fairfax County School Board Chair that she has deep concerns about the allegations involving Hayfield Secondary School's football program. The neighboring Fairfax City School Board urging Fairfax County Public Schools to bring in an external firm to conduct a comprehensive, unbiased investigation that will be made public when complete. That will clear up everything. Jim Hartle's son plays high school football for Fairfax, and he agrees an independent investigation should be done and the results be released. It would clear up issues for, for Hayfield. It would clear up issues for all the other teams that are within Fairfax County, and uh, we can get on with uh, you know supporting our kids, supporting our teams, and doing what's right. Prior to the Virginia High School League probe, an internal FCPS investigation found no wrongdoing by Hayfield staff. Any internal investigation probably doesn't uncover the, uh, the uh, issues, the concerns uh, that could be found with an external investigation. Tonight, six Fairfax County Public Schools football coaches also calling for accountability for Hayfield Secondary School. The coaches write, quote, while we respect the court's authority and its process for addressing such issues, the decision to allow this team to participate in the playoffs after the governing VHSL body deemed them ineligible creates a system where rules can be bent, broken, or overlooked without meaningful consequences. Now, I did ask Fairfax County Public Schools today if there will be an external unbiased investigation and will they release the results of that investigation to the public? They have not said. Reporting live in Fairfax, Nick Minox, 7 News. Nick, thank you. I'm here now with Sports Director Scott Abraham to dig a little bit deeper into this. Look, this seems like a pretty bizarre case. What's your take on what's going on here? It's very confusing. I think mm -hmm. it's an absolute mess. I said it on Friday night. I feel bad for the student athletes involved. Put the adults to the side. But let's think about these seniors. Let's think about these football players who have been grinding since August. And this has been building and building since August because and what's unfortunate, Scott, is you have this Hayfield situation and it's a fiasco there with all the transfers, you know, 14 kids coming from Freedom Woodbridge. And now it's holding up the entire state tournament you got a big domino effect. and punishing seven other teams from not knowing what's going on. So there's seven other teams that thought they were going to play a game last Friday night. And now the entire thing is, is catch up mode because of one team's fiasco in Hayfield. I just think it's not fair, and I know some coaches think it's unsafe because now they have to play three playoff games in nine days, which is pretty much unheard of. And if you know football, the level of playoff football is completely different, the physicality of a regular season Sure, the game. preparation you'd like mm -hmm. to have between games. Have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, there's certainly been rumblings across the country of various transfer scandals or ineligibility stuff, but to this scale in this region, I've been here about 10 years, I've never seen like the court system get involved, judges get involved. And the thing is, they've known about this since August. So this has been building and building. So people come to me, why is this coming to light now? While the stakes are the highest right now with state championships, regional championships on the line. So that's why there's a sense of urgency to try to get Hayfield in or try to get Hayfield out. 